Like many other crops in Canada, blueberries are dependent on pollination by bees. Bees are the most important pollinators in the insect world. And it's not just honeybees out there doing the work. Wild bees are active crop pollinators as well. Wild bee species are highly diverse. They differ widely in their forage preferences, flight times, and tolerance of weather conditions. Several wild bee species actively forage at lower temperatures and reduce sunlight, which means they're excellent pollinators during long periods of inclement weather. Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada scientist Steve Javarek is getting the message out that wild bees are a very efficient pollinator and are very important for blueberry crop production. For Javarek, it's about protecting their habitat and making wild bees that live in the fringes of fields feel at home. Where do they nest? What do they feed on? How far will they go to get food? And trying to take all those components and build them into the design of blueberry systems so that we're able to keep these wild bees in good numbers, close to the blueberry fields, so when we need the pollination in the spring, we've got that community of, here in PEI, over 60 species of bees ready to help with the pollination. Javarek is telling growers that by maintaining bushes and shrubs in the blueberry landscape, more bees will be working the fields during pollination time. We're getting the benefits from honeybees still, but we're also starting to get the benefits of these wild bees. Javarek's message to blueberry growers is simple. Protecting bee habitat will protect blueberry crops by protecting the pollinators that help make them possible. His message coincides with a guide on native pollinators published by Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. It contains detailed information on how to create and protect wild bee habitat. Pollinators in the landscape is a good thing. So we hope a guide like this really can focus attention on pollinators and those vital services that they do provide. The Native Pollinators and Agriculture in Canada guide can be found on our website.